The A400M Atlas experienced a problematic birth. However, it is undoubtedly a competent military transport aircraft. Even though the A400M fulfills a necessary gap, it has not yet achieved the international commercial success that was expected from the project partners. As the weapon detective, we're now investigating the A400M, the successful in design but unlucky aircraft. When it comes to the A400M, it is possible to find a lot of information from the beginning about things that did not go well. We will try to focus on the factors that caused these problems rather than listing each one. Before analyzing the situation, let's briefly look at the program history and the technical capabilities of the aircraft to build a solid foundation. The first step which paved the way for the development of the A400M was taken by establishing the future International Military Airlifter shortly FIMA Group in 1982. Aerospecial, British Aerospace and Messerschmitt Belko Bloom, which were the leading European aviation companies at the time, partnered with US Lockheed under this group to develop a new military transport aircraft as a replacement for the C-130 and C-160s. However, each country in the group had its own unique requirements and political agenda. Finding a solution that could satisfy everyone was a complicated task. As the discussions continued non-stop, the process delayed and eventually got stuck. So, in 1989, Lockheed withdrew from the FIMA and began to work on the C-130J Super Hercules. But in a short time, Alenia of Italy and Casa of Spain joined the group. The FIMA became the Euroflag. In 1989, the Euroflag began a feasibility study under the future large aircraft shortly FLA program. In 1991, France, Germany, Italy and Spain signed an agreement to work together. After a while, Belgium, Portugal, Turkey and the UK were involved in the project. The UK, which had initially limited its participation only to industrial cooperation, later increased its partnership to the national participant level. But the First Cold War ended and the military requirements of the participating countries changed. Initially, the aircraft was being developed for tactical purposes. But now, the major participants were demanding one that could also be used for strategic missions. Besides, they decreased the number of aircraft orders due to budget cuts. One of the main participants, France, reduced its economic support to the program. The UK bought some C-17s because of an urgent need. The project entered the new millennium in crisis. Germany was expected to place the largest order, but it had started negotiations with Ukraine for joint production of the AN-70. Italy and Portugal withdrew. However, on May 27, 2003, Belgium, France, Germany, Luxembourg, Spain, Turkey and the UK decided to continue the program. The A400M performed its maiden flight on December 11, 2009. Four years later, the aircraft became operational. The letter A of the A400M refers to Airbus and the letter M refers to the word military. As you know, Airbus uses the code 300 for commercial airliners, such as the A310 and A330. So, the company preferred to use the code 400 for military aircraft. Belgium, France, Germany, Indonesia, Kazakhstan, Luxembourg, Malaysia, Spain, Turkey and the UK are the current users of the A400M. The crew of the A400M is three-person. The aircraft has a length of 45.1 meters, a wingspan of 42.4 meters and a height of 14.7 meters. The maximum takeoff weight of the A400M is 141 tons. On its official site, Airbus Defense and Space announces the top cruising speed of the aircraft as 802 km per hour. The power plant consists of four 8,200 kW TP400 D6 turboprops. The service ceiling is about 12,200 meters, in other words, 
40,000 feet. The aircraft can carry 37 tons to 3,300 kilometers and 20 tons to 6,300 kilometers. Different official sources have various figures on their site. For example, the Royal Air Force states that the A400M has a top speed of 741 km per hour. The institution responsible for this program's management, the OCAR, says that the maximum payload is 32 tons, not 37 tons. Although the A400M has the same operating costs for tactical airlift missions, it has a much larger internal volume and approximately twice the carrying capacity compared to the C-130J. During tactical missions, the A400M can perform turnings up to 3G. Its roll rate is 35 degrees per second. You can find more detailed information on the A400M's capabilities from many sources. However, as we mentioned before, we will try to find some answers to the misfortunes of the aircraft. The aviation industries of the participating countries have combined their capabilities under the roof of the Airbus military for the development of the A400M. All partners thought many hands make light work. But why did things not go as planned? To answer this question, we should answer another question first. Does democracy always work? When we talk about governing a modern society, we might say yes. But in a military project, democracy may not work that well. This problem also revealed itself in the multinational A400M program. When countries with different military requirements and political agendas come together, reaching a consensus that will satisfy them all is difficult. The A400M has tried to answer the demands of all participants. None of the program partners was the sole leader who could dictate his own decisions to others. Even when a country works on a development project alone, making all parties happy is almost impossible. For example, the soldier always demands the best systems that are expensive. But the taxpayers want to spend less money on defense. Meanwhile, the industrialists always desire to make more profit. There are always anti-military groups. But no defense industry employees want to lose their jobs. Still, for a national program, Reaching a consensus is comparatively more uncomplicated than a multinational one. Because all countries have their own agendas and national priorities which generally contradict the other partners. So, the A400M has experienced all of these unfavorable facts. The endless debates between the partners cause some critical delays. The delays cause cost increases. The cost increase cause new controversies. Overcoming this nightmarish wishes circle was not easy. Unlike the A400M, the multinational F-35 is the fruit of the non-democratic project management model. Of course, many serious and expensive problems have also arisen in this program. Although the USA manages the Joint Strike Fighter program single-handedly, reaching a consensus between the three branches of the US Armed Forces was not easy. Yet, Washington has not given a chance to the other participants to discuss the design criteria and the capabilities of the Lightning II. The USA even dictated the radar and targeting system to be used on the F-35 to all users. The internal weapon bays of the Lightning II have not been shaped according to the domestic weapon systems of the user countries. The users of the aircraft have to reshape their missiles and bombs. Similarly, the legendary C-130 was not a product of a democratic program. The USA developed this aircraft for its own needs. Its cargo volume was suitable for the size of the M113. Many countries had oversized and heavier vehicles than the M113. Still, they acquired the Hercules. Because they had to. There was no feasible alternative. The USA said my way or the highway, and it succeeded. Of course, the A400M's partners do not have such a dictating power. Still, in terms of size and payload capacity, the A400M fills the gap between the C-130J and C-17. Maybe the USA does not need the same class of military transport aircraft as the A400M, but many other countries do. Parallel with the increasing need for the ballistic protection, 
the weight of the armored vehicles is increasing day by day. While the C-130 cannot transport some new vehicles, the C-17 is too big and expensive. The A400M has not yet achieved the expected success in the international market. But many countries still need the same class of military transport aircraft. For example, Indonesia, which operates the Harimau, ordered two A400Ms with four options. It is a logical choice. The C-130J cannot transport this new 32-ton medium tank. And the carrying capacity of the expensive C-17 is beyond what Indonesia needs. Also, the aircraft offers the same feasible solution for the new armored vehicles of the West, such as the British Ajax or German Puma. Still, we should add that the unit cost of the A400M is currently close to that of the C-17. Yet, its 30-year life cycle costs are nearly half of the Globemaster 3s. In 2019, Airbus Defense and Space solved aircraft some critical problems. Now, the A400M has air refueling capability for helicopters. Also, the aircraft successfully performed a certification flight test for the simultaneous airdrop of 80 fully equipped paratroopers from both side doors on a single pass. As the child of a multinational program, the A400M had a difficult pregnancy, birth and infancy. However, it has gained health and proven itself in the overseas military operations and humanitarian activities. At first glance, it seems to have lost many potential customers to the C-130J and C-17. However, the A400M is not actually a rival of the Super Hercules or Globemaster III. It fills an essential gap between them. Europe may not have the dictating power like the USA. However, the real needs have this power. So, we may foresee that more countries will be the A400M's users in the future. Thanks for watching our video and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up if you liked our video. To be notified of our new videos, please click the bell button. Also, you can now click the join button. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.